stepping onto the field. Nice try there for Lee Jones. The big John Manson, uh, the manager. Very good manager as well. And look at the steepling seating here at the Hong Kong Stadium, Hong Kong Club. As the French team come up to receive the runners up uh, presentation. Started brilliantly with the runaway by Terry Bruahua. There's Mr. Brent Gosper to the right now. The International Rugby Board's chief. Trevor Gregory, the retire in the centre there, in the Hong Kong Blazer the retiring chairman of the Hong Kong Rugby Union. And what a great gentleman he is. He sort of epitomizes the game. Lovely to see, and uh, he and his whole team here do a good job. And uh, next to him, the gentleman is John Sloser, the chairman of Cathay Pacific Airways. And Brian Stevenson is to the left. Uh, the guy to the right in the T-shirt looks familiar. Not quite familiar, sure he is. And we don't know who he is. I wonder if he's practicing his French. Well, he played there for a while. Big Jonah was the winner of the Leslie Williams trophy for man of the tournament a couple of uh, when he when he played here and uh, that is going to be awarded after the playing of the final again it's a highly prestigious trophy won last year by Osea Colini Sao in Fiji and the wonderfully named best and fairest yeah best and fairest there is Andy Turnbull coming along Peter Duncan, the New Zealanders up there as well. What a lovely chap that Jonah Lomu is. He really is. Delighted the crowd here for the days he's been here. Well played, Scotland. Bowl winners here at the HSBC Sevens World Series at the Cafe Pacific HSBC Hong Kong Sevens. Yeah, good finish for Scotland, picked up the bowl. They go to their home tournament in Glasgow for round eight in good spirits, hoping they can put on a good performance there as they also build to hosting the Commonwealth Games, of course, in the summer in Glasgow as well. Moving on now, this is the plate final coming up between South Africa and Wales. Now, South Africa had won, had been in five straight cup finals leading into this event and won two of them. But uh, they lost their quarter-final earlier on and to England, of course, and they play Wales in the plate final. Wales have done pretty well this weekend. Um, had a few players coming back, didn't they? And uh, still missing their, uh, their original captain this season, Adam Thomas. Um, how much has that affected them and, and how are they starting to recover from that? And obviously the coach, Paul John, moving on as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, with Adam being out, he's big for them. You know, he's a, a big physical man, which means that it puts a lot of pressure on James Davis to, to take that through. But mm. Lee Williams coming back has been massive for them, just in terms, of, as they say, the Welsh, the brain, to try and get them kind of moving around the pitch with a bit more width, a bit more guile. And I think they've, they've, we've seen distinct improvements in this last tournament. I think Babs, Gareth Williams is finding his feet. You know, he's Paul John's assistant for five years, but when you become the main man, the boss, then you know you've got to grow into that role. We're gradually seeing Gareth actually his personality coming through as well. So they're in a good place. They're building. It just needs a bit more time. And South Africa coming into this tournament on top of the standings uh, by two points ahead of New Zealand. Whatever happens in the, this final and the Cup final, New Zealand and England later, New Zealand will jump ahead of them and go top. Uh, so going into Glasgow, South Africa will be second, but they'll want to pick up as many points as they possibly can here because with two tournaments left to play, that race with New Zealand for the series title, like, it's crucial they try and get all 13 in this match. They have to, you know, if, if South Africa don't win this, I, I think you know, New Zealand will stretch away because they're going to make a semi, they're going to make a final, they're going to constantly pick up points. So they're going to rue that, that uh, quarter final against England, so many mistakes that cost them, you know, so they have to win this and uh, to get that maximum points. OK, sorry, they've got, they've, got, they've got a lot of injuries as well. They've put together a sticky plasters here, the South Africans. I mean, yeah. no Africa, no Dupree, no um, Brown, Snyman's no well. Snatla, no Snyman. So they're on their bare bones. So it's a big opportunity for Wales. OK, well, here we go. South Africa, Wales for the plate final. Your commentators, Scott Hastings and Wynne Griffiths.
and they've met on 34 previous occasions but Wales have only won the solitary one game and that was in Glasgow three years ago and they're under the pump here right from the outset Werner Koch full of vim and vigor this is Jamba Olengo will that try be given Richard Kelly will want a word with his uh, assistant referees yeah. 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 so try He's not in touch. No, try. Not in touch, try given. Yeah, Jean Berlingo. He's been used sparingly, but he got two tries against the USA in the last side. Gets his start and gets outside Luke Morgan. Strength and power from the South African player. <laughs> Sliding into the corner, tall, rangy Jamba Ulengo opens the scoring in this uh, plate final. Playing for 13 championship points the uh, runners up gets 12 points the conversion is missed and South Africa lead by 5 to nil Hong Kong is a new experience for some of these players Williams, the orchestrator, the playmaker. Fadould, back in his own 22, on his own. Ross Jones is the sweeper, back there to take the uh, return kick. Not a bad effort uh, from the Wales number one, good pace being shown, but good defence as well from Fwaka Smith. And Ross Jones has to get back up on his feet very quickly to deal with uh, Smith, uh, James Davis and uh, Jason Harris between them. Bundle. Chris Dry over his own try line. Excellent pressure play there from Wales. Their defensive line was right on Stefan Dipinar. And it's the attitude of these Welsh players. Remember 12 months ago in the main cup final against Fiji they showed such heart Coach. and they're going to have to show that heart again to Boy. come back and take Set. on this great South African team standing behind the scrum is Ross Jones there he is, a change of direction Jones is there well worked try for Wales Lee Williams and Ross Jones in concert a lovely little switch play there from Ross Jones to go on the angle, and sometimes you have to split a defence like that. So this for the lead. <laughs> Jones makes no mistake. So midway through the first half of our plate final, Wills lead South Africa by seven to five. Well, it's interesting because Lee Williams hasn't been maybe as uh, prominent as he normally is but he's still a great reader of the game and a beautiful uh, pass there to find his colleague Ross Jones for that try for Wales yeah he's the most experienced player in the squad and boy do they need his experience with uh, squad captain Adam Jones uh, injured but he should be back before long as uh, will hopefully be the strike runner Chris Knight a heap of injuries suffered in uh, Port Elizabeth before Christmas and that certainly has had uh, a dramatic influence and bearing on uh, Wales's campaign in recent times. Well, this young man, uh, yeah, Dustin Hedul, has release. shown great maturity, 20 years of age as well. Yeah, he took over the uh, fly-up duties from uh, Cecil Africa in Tokyo. Cecil was injured uh, earlier on today, so... Fadul is there once again. Cock been very impressed by Werner Cock in uh, the last two tournaments. This dry. All these South African players are contracted by now. Quaker Smith is the uh, latest of them. The in the 20s representative. Ball is out. The ball, ball will be a little greasy now, I fancy, with a, a steady drizzle falling on the Soko Post Stadium. Watch, watch Jason Harris here when where he manages just to dislodge the ball. Got away with it, knocked it on. Just just wait, both sides, wait for the ball and then we can strike. 
Crutch. Bind. Set. Williams to Jones again. Set. It's the uh, tactical kick plus favoured. Fadul is back there once again. How good is the chase now? Then was that knocked forward? Yes, it was. A rare mistake by Justin Fadul. Uh, he knows it. The vigories of a bouncing rugby ball. Let's make sure the ball's out before we come on. Crouch! Well, the cry of Wales goes up in the uh, in the grandstands. Set. As Lee Williams feeds. Hardly any room on the narrow side. Oh, lovely offload to Jason Harris, looking to muscle his way towards that South African try line. Big and strong Lee come on and Quinn's uh, wing three quarter. Now contracted yeah. player. Great body positioning, wasn't it? From the tackle of uh, Justin Gerould. Climbing high was uh, Chris Dry. Wales looking to crowd out uh, the South Africans here. And James Davis is the man penalised. Taking the receiver, taking out number nine. So competitive. Fadul uh, finds a uh, touch midway between the 22 and the 10 metre line. That is Gareth Williams taking over as interim coach uh, from uh, order, successful Wales coach uh, Paul John. Hasn't had the best of luck in recent times, but whatever happens, there will be 20 points uh, garnered on the Asian leg on the HSBC World Series. And that is as much, if not more, than Wales could have hoped for with the uh, catalogue of injuries that they had suffered. Harris, the speculative kick. Cock is back there. Oh, what a mess. Oh, what a try. That's a reward for perseverance. And Ian Harris is delighted with that one. Yeah, the 25-year-old Jason Harris, Werner Cock, wearing that number five jersey. Well, we had one for Japan. <laughs> We've seen some comical well, moments this weekend, uh, Scott. Collins and Jena's catastrophe, which led uh, Wales to the uh, Cup quarterfinals, and that uh, is shown <laughs> what she knows. Just again, she know, wasn't it, in the uh, qualifying final? But uh, that's that's what happens. That, that is why rugby, the rugby balls are shaped that way. <laughs> well, the late Cliff Morgan would have it so that it's shaped like an egg, because in Wales, when a baby is born, they pull back. Uh, the bed goes and they see that it's a boy and they boil the kettle, they boil the saucepan, they put an egg in it, they cool it down and put it in the hands of the boy so that he knows the shape of the rugby ball. Continuity is agility. Hamlin sponsors Rugby Union on Sky Sports. Welcome to Amazon Assist. Hello, uh, my niece is coming over and she'll be using my new Kindle Fire. Great, the fire is perfect for kids. Yeah, but I don't want to glue to it all day. Got it. Use Kindle Free Time. It lets you set limits on how long kids can watch and play. Mm. I could use the time limits myself. Oh, really? Yeah, I've got a serious plants versus zombies addiction. For me, it's Candy Crush Saga. It's becoming a real problem. Introducing the revolutionary Mayday button, only on the new Kindle Fire HDX. This is Phil. Phil saved money on his car insurance at Money Supermarket. And now he feels epic. Save money and feel epic. You are so Money Supermarket. Vital score for Will just before the break. Werner Koch 
very impressive, hard worker, quick, elusive. Ross Jones restarts them. Wales have a nine-point advantage. Fadul into midfield. Cox looking to make up for his uh, earlier mistake findings. Jambo Alengo. Davis to the tackle. In goes Luke Morgan. Get his hands on the ball. Advantage South Africa. Slowly dug out there by uh, Stefan Dipana. Lovely hands from oh, Fadul uh, finding Kwaka Smith. Wide out on the right, cuts back inside. Oh, missed tackle from Luke Morgan. And South Africa, now right back in it. Yeah, lovely try from Kwaka uh, Smith. A good individual skill, the way he held the ball in two hands, but the initial break had been through Khedul, but look at the way he held the ball, two hands, tucks it under the one now, turns that Welsh defence inside out. Conversion from Khedul is successful, so the gap is narrowed to two points. A minute or so into the uh, second half. Both uh, teams are playing with a new coaching staff this season. Or here in Tokyo. Khedul kicks long, kicks high. Williams Inside. safely under the high ball. And again, it's the kick that's favoured. Way downfield. Neil Powell. 35 year old uh, first appeared on the circuit alongside uh, his predecessor Paul True back in 2002. Sam Cross challenges for the high ball. That's not the best. Stefan Dipana. <laughs> well, it's at this stage of the uh, tournament day three here in Hong Kong that mistakes like that. The pass was fired. But it's been a Herculean effort from both these teams. Wales with that slender One. two point lead. Yes, South Africa, they've traded blow for blow with uh, New Zealand uh, this season. Two points to their advantage coming into this uh, event in Hong Kong. Final, the grand final, England against New Zealand to come. Again, Wales are being penalised at the breakdown. Putting on. <coughs> That's it. That's an excellent touch finder from uh, Thurold, the under 20s representative at uh, last year's uh, World Cup, the Junior World Cup, that is in France. Certainly created an impression there alongside his uh, colleague uh, Ciabello Sinatla, who's on the bench this evening. And look at the way he's rattled up those scores in just 11 tournaments, and he is really shaping up to be a classy South African player with all the okay. skills. Good tackle there from uh, Ross Jones, down and up, ready for the next phase. Good steal by Wales here. Davis to the breakthrough, out of his own 22. How much pace has he got? What's he got left in the tank? Tracked down, hounded down by Bernakoff. Yes, for advantage Wales, not allowing the player to release the ball. Williams, go the other side, says Ross Jones. That's where the bodies are. Almost up to the South African 22, but they have regrouped. Chris Troy did a tremendous amount of work there to uh, make the counter-ruck effective, and that's what got them the possession. Well, the tackling is ferocious. Sam Cross on that occasion on uh, Jamba Ulengo. Fadould. Back to the big man. Wales not playing with a sweeper. They should be wary of a uh, chip and go, especially from Fadould. Fadould looking for Ulengo and finds him. Sam Cross has already given up the chase as Ulengo darts away, scoots away over the try line to extend South Africa. Give South Africa the lead, rather. When I think that was down to Welsh tiredness there. They had seven up on the line. Lee Williams couldn't get back to sweep. The kick was on. There's Lee Williams. Look at him. He's not normally as sharp. Well, he should be more sharper, I should say. But the pass was given to Jambalengo. And with no sweeper in place, he had a, a stroll to the line. 17-14.
Scratch that. It's 19-14 now with two minutes remaining. Will Price. Wales number nine. Okay, has to uh, take the restart, but once again, it's a, a long kick favoured by uh, Justin Fidould. Davis. Cross. Does well to keep the ball in play. Davis again. Yolo Evans, the uh, replacement. Good angle here from Ross Jones, finding Davis in close support. Well, he's a tireless workhorse, is uh, James Davis. Oh, backwards off green. Didn't go forwards, or did it? Backwards off green, then lost forward red and the touch. And backwards off green, and then forward off red. As uh, Wales have suffered an injury. So uh, Lee Williams, the captain, is down holding his arm. And then he lost the foot into touch. Guys, just the one score. Just over a minute remaining. Dan Jones, well, he says farewell to uh, the circuit after Hong Kong. The uh, physio is at his work cut out. Uh, Will Thomas was contested a little on today, but the good news is that uh, he's uh, recovered. Funky Horn gave his way for South Africa. Crouch! Bind! Set! Pressure. Being applied by Wales here. Support your body weight. Michael Dupriya was on. Wayne Sem. Stay up. Well, you heard the instruction from referee Richard Kelly. Support your own body weight as Sam Cross went over, fell over the back, slowed up play. I'm talking about slowing up play. This South African team will do exactly that. Head old into the stands. One last play then for South Africa. One last chance for Wales to snatch it. Come out. One you last chance, yes, Scott. Sorry for Wales, as you say. Looking for just their second okay, victory in uh, 35 games three. against South Africa. Yeah, after the uh, quarter-final defeat in South Africa had to England, their next priority was to try and win this plate final and get as many points out of this competition as possible to stay in touch with the leaders. So the chance goes to Wales now. Cross steals it for Wales, but again the penal is at the breakdown. A little bit of nonsense as well between Cock and Evans. Oh, this is unsightly. I don't know what started it. Well, I think it's a word called frustration, actually. Wales have conceded quite a few penalties in the second half. Se seven penalties they've conceded. I haven't seen any punches or anything like that. You know, Werner what was quite excellent to win the ball. And yeah. then in comes Sam Cross. Watch this. He was just frustrated at Werner Cock, his attitude. And they can't go around grabbing people around the neck like that. I need you to stay out of it. We in the centre. So, yeah, Wales penalised initially for not releasing the ball. So we've arrived at uh, full time. Ten metres, please. Ten metres. So just the. Uh, the formality of a line-out, I'm sure. Team and yet again, we've seen so many games come down right to the wire this weekend. And there it is. And that is one aspect of the game that I don't like when we tighten up and everything else. It's uh, kicking the ball away right at the end. Uh, it's not in the spirit of the game, but uh, let's congratulate South Africa on a job well done here they've secured 13 championship points to keep them in touch with the leaders new zealand and they have claimed the plate here in hong kong they defeated wales uh, a spirited effort uh, from the red dragons but uh, falling short in the end and, uh, closing out by 19 to 14.